In today's question, we are going to discuss mixtures. A man buys tea costing 112 shillings per kilogram and 132 shillings per kilogram and mixes them, then sells the mixture at 150 shillings per kilogram if he is making a profit of 25% in each kilogram of the mixture, determine the ratio in which he mixes the tea. We are told that he sells the mixture at 150 shillings to make a profit of 25%. So we need to get the buying price or the cost price. So the cost price which is usually set at 100% is equal to what? So we have 125%, that is if he sells it at a profit of 25%, so 125% should be 150 shillings. How about the cost price, which is 100%? So here we are going to cross multiply and have 100 times 150, all over 125 and that should be 120 shillings. So that is the cost price. We are going to use this cost price in the following formula. First, we will let the mass of the two types of T be X and Y respectively. Now, we are going to have the cost of mixture per kilogram calculated as follows. So first we'll have the total cost of these two types of T. For the first type, the cost is 112 shillings per kilogram and they are X kilograms. So we'll have 112 shillings times X kilogram, 112 X. And then you'll also have the cost of the other type, 132 shillings per kilogram, and they are Y kilograms. So we are going to have 132 shillings for one kilogram times Y kilograms. And then because it is cost of the mixture per kilogram, we'll have to divide by the total mass, which is X plus Y. Now remember, we'd already determined the cost of the mixture per kilogram, which is now the cost price, 120 shillings. So this next line we can say the cost of the mixture, which is 120 shillings per kilogram, should be equal to 112x plus 132y over x plus y. So for the sake of cross multiplication, we'll have this over 1. And then we cross multiply. So when you cross multiply, 120 multiplies the denominator and we'll have 120x plus 120y. And then on the right hand side, we'll have 1 times the numerator here, which is 112x plus 132y. So all the terms containing x will be grouped on the left hand side and all the terms containing y will be grouped on the right hand side. So we'll have 112x coming this side and we'll have 120x minus 112x. On the right hand side we'll have 132y minus, this comes this side, so minus 120y. So working out the left hand side we'll have 8x and the right hand side will have 12 why? Remember, the target here is to determine the ratio in which the two types of T were mixed. That is the ratio of X to Y. From this equation here, we want to determine X to Y. Remember, X to Y is just X over Y. So we need X over Y on the left hand side of this equation. So we'll achieve that by first dividing both sides by y. So this and this cancels. Already we have x over y on the left hand side. The next thing is to bring 8 to this other side. 
So that means we are going to divide both sides by 8. So this 8 and 8 cancels. So on the left hand side will remain with x over y and on the right hand side 12 over 8. 12 over 8 simplifies to so 4 goes here 3 times here twice. So we have 3 over 2. This simply implies x over y which is equal to x to y that is x to y is equal to 3 to 2. So the two types of t were mixed in the ratio 3 to 2. Now we can choose also to apply the Pearson square. We will have the two masses x to y and then the cost of the mixture per kilogram at this position 120 and then the cost of type x was 112 shillings and type y 132 shillings so what we are going to do is to get the difference diagonally so the difference between 112 and 120 is 8 and the difference between 132 and 120 is 12. We have here 12 to 8 and this simplifies to 3 to 2. So the ratio of x to y is 3 to 2. So x to y is equal to 3 to 2. Now with this we come to the end of the solution to this problem. Thank you for watching. Bye.